Hi, now we have one more number pattern. It is also a combination series. And let's find out what kind of combination it has. We'll also try to fill these blank spaces. So let's follow the first step. Let's find the differences between two consecutive terms. So if we find difference, the difference between 3 and 1 is 2. 3 and 3 is 0. Here the difference is 3. And here the difference is 4. Here difference is again 2. Right? So since we don't have any number after 9, so we have to try and find out a logic among these differences. But by seeing these 5 differences, we actually cannot conclude anything about the logic this pattern is following. Right? So let's think a bit differently. As I told you, this can be a series of combination of two different logics. So let me take these numbers and write them in alternate colors. So let me first write 1, then I will write, I am writing this 3, then I am writing this 7, then this blank space, then I will write 21, and let me take one more color and write the leftover numbers. So now I will write this 3 which is at second place, then I will write this 6 which is at fourth place, I'll write this 9, which is at 6th place. The 7th place number we have to find. And we have 12 at 8th place. And then we have to find this number. So now let's consider the series in green color. So if we carefully see the series in green color, we can see this 3 is actually 1 plus 2 and this 7 is 3 plus 4 right 2 and 4 are even numbers right so if we add 6 over here we should get the next number so the next number will be 7 plus 6 13 right to check whether our logic is correct or not we have to check if we are getting 21 by adding 8 to 13. So let's add 8 to 13. 13 plus 8 is 21. So our logic of the difference in the series of even numbers is proved correct by checking the number which is which was given to us. By this 21 we could check the logic we have applied till here is correct or not. See, here 2 and 4 were the differences. From here actually two logics can be concluded. One is the difference is getting doubled, right? Another is the difference is increasing by 2 every time. So in the first case itself, I have applied the logic that the difference is increasing by 2. So by applying that logic, we got this midterm as 13. And to cross-check our logic, we have to continue adding the even number. So we have added next even number after 6, which is 8 to 13, and we got this 21. So this addition was actually the proof of concept, right? This addition of or the process of finding this 21 is actually the proof of concept that the logic which we have concluded from first two differences is correct or not. So we will do the similar procedure for the orange colored numbers also. So let me remove the, these green color numbers and their differences because we have understood that the differences are actually a series of even numbers. So now let's concentrate on the numbers in orange color. We will follow the similar procedure. Again, we will find the differences of the numbers in orange color. So if we find the the logic between these 3 and 6, we can reach to that 6 by adding 3 to this 3. And from here, if we add 3 again to 6, 
we get 9 and 9 plus 3 gives us 12. So the next number will be 12 plus 3 that is 15. Right? So the term which we were supposed to find were 13 and 15. Now let's try to write them in general mathematical notation. So here our first term that is T1 is fixed which is 1 and Tn is equal to Tn minus 2. If we are finding the third term we are actually relating it with the first term right. The first term and third term are related so if n is equal to 3 here we are talking about T1, right? N minus 2 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1. So, we, you have to take first term and then we are adding one even number to it, right? Like here we were adding 2 and then we were adding 4 and then we have added 6, right? And then we have added 8. So if we see carefully to find the third number, third term, we are adding 2. Right? And to find the fifth term, we are adding 4. And to find the seventh term, we are actually adding 6. And to find the ninth term, we are actually adding 8. So actually to find the nth term where n is an odd number, we are adding n minus 1 to it, isn't it? Where n belongs to set of odd numbers, right? So if n is odd, n minus 1 will be even number. Now let's concentrate on the terms at even places. In even places, the first term is fixed. So T2 is fixed, which is 3. And all other terms after that Tn is equal to Tn minus 2 plus 3. Right? This is when n belongs to even number. So when we are finding the fourth term, we are taking second term and adding 3 to it, we will get the fourth term. And to find the sixth term, Take fourth term that is 6 and add 3 and you will get the sixth term. Similarly to find the eighth term, we have to take a number at sixth place that is 9. We add 3 to it, we will get 12. Similarly, 12 plus 3, we get 15 which is the term at tenth place. So here actually this given number pattern is a combination of two logics. The first logic is this which we are applying to find the terms at odd places and then the second logic is this which we are applying to find the terms at even places.